welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey and today I'm going to be using the Pro. I've just made a, a pizza in here and I've just got I've got this log left that's, that's lasted forever actually. <laughs> I was expecting it to be burnt down by now but I need to put another log in there ready for my next cook so I'm just gonna put that in there, put the lid back on been about 30 minutes since my last cook and so I'm expecting the stone that's good actually it's held up well so I want that to shoot up now get it back right up to there and uh, we'll be good to go it's going up as I'm looking at it now so let's go make the pizza. temperature of the oven wow this thing is absolutely I've left this with the door on for about 25 minutes and the center is still 500 I don't know this must be one of, this must be the hottest burning log I've ever used can't be the normal cheap stuff I use it must be like oak or something I don't know what it is but that's amazing Right, so I'm going to get the stone down. I'm not going to hang around with this 70% this hydration dough on here. Look, it's it's sticking and, and I've had a bit of a mare. I've thrown two doughs away because they just got all holy and I've had a really bad time. Yes, I've got loads of flour because I'm stressed. That's why I use 60 or 62% hydration dough. It just makes things so much easier. See, that's still... What is it, what is it with this oven today? Right, I'm going to go right to the front, right to the front, and just push it there because I don't know. I'm going to blow all this stuff off and give it a. I oh, see it's sticking there. Can you see that? That's going to ruin everything now. Nope, it's ready to go in. I'm going to put it in. Oh, that just went right to the edge then. I could seriously have nearly come off the. Own. Okay, but it didn't so. And I'm still using that same log that was really hot about half an hour ago and it's still burning and it's still boiling hot in this oven, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing because I don't have to. <clears throat> use more logs but what's happened look as I've started cooking the flame's gone <laughs> I have a plan that thing has been flaming for 30 minutes and you could just see it flaming but as soon as I put my pizza in it stopped look. so I've just put some kindling in there now to fake a flame they are instant instant flame
Might push it up a bit. I've also noticed with the 70% um, hydration dough, it doesn't leopard as much, it doesn't leopard as well, it kind of just does a little bit of leoparding. But they were, look, I've got that lovely flame. <laughs> Instant flames. If you ever get in a position like me where you just stick your pizza in and your flame suddenly goes out from your log and it's all done. This pizza is so nice. So what I did was I put some sweet chilli sauce on the base, then I put some tomato sauce, some sweet chilli chicken pieces that had been marinated overnight, added a few blobs of buffalo mozzarella. I was going to add some more uh, chilli, but I thought there's enough of that in all of the sauces and everything I've got here. I think the last thing I'd want is more. I had a good base cook from the pro. That oven was boiling, even though I'd left it for a good time, it was still boiling. Unfortunately, as soon as I wanted to use it, the flame went out, but shove some kindling into the back if it ever does that to you. You can still carry on with your cook. Get that crunch. Try that bit. It's nice, subtle flavors, actually. It's not too um, burny. It's not too spicy, it's just right. Also, this crust, I feel, gives it more of a, just a a brown crust, cooked crunchy coloured crust. As so if you like that sort of crust, then yeah, go for it. If you don't mind grappling with your holy dough. So crunchy. Don't forget to check out our website gottoeatpizza.com, link is below.